Hey, Davey, how big was this win after having, as you said, kind of an all-star break there to come back and be able to score five runs early on for Patrick and watch the bullpen hold it like that? How critical was this for you to, to get off to a good start here as you return to play? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, man, I loved what I saw tonight with these guys. They came out with a lot of energy. Um, they played, we played well. I mean, uh, the bullpen was phenomenal. Corbin was phenomenal. So, um, but, you know, I think the key was coming out here today and scoring first, um, getting that lead, and the bullpen came in and did their job. Howie Kendrick was tremendous getting that homer to start things off. You mentioned his upper back stiffness. Uh, how, uh, how did you work and remedy that the last few days? And what did he say to you that, that made you, that convinced you that he was ready to go tonight? Yeah, no, we, we just kept an eye, eye on him and uh, conversation between him and I and the training staff. Um, he felt good to go. I mean, Sunday, he said he felt, he felt okay. So, uh, it was just perfect for him to go out there and do what he did and, and show that he's really, you know, he's really okay. Um, we need him in the lineup, you know, whenever we can. Uh, as you know, you know, um, i got to give him days off. I know that. But with a shortened season like that, we got to get him out there as much as possible. Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. Hey, you've been able to get um, big outs, not just from your bullpen, but in situations where they have to come in and get themselves out of jams. You had Harper and Rainey tonight both do that. What's been the key for those guys to be able to get out of those kind of tight situations? You know, for me, it's, you know, I talk to these guys a lot and um, confidence goes a long way, you know, and, and I tell them, I said, you know, this year, you know, for me, you guys, you guys are going to be put in, in moments um, that are uncomfortable, but, uh, you know, I believe in you guys and I think you guys can get outs, you know, and it's all about just getting an out. You know, I tell them, you know, don't worry about the outcome, just worry about getting outs. And uh, they've done a great job with that. And just what um, – it looked like you wanted Doolittle for the eighth, and then because of the way the rain delay played out, did that just eliminate the chance of using him? Yeah, we had him hot for the eighth inning. Um, he got hot. He was coming in the game. It started raining. And uh, I'm not going to do that to him. I mean, um, you know, we want to get him going. Uh, once he got hot, you know, we waited for a while, and I wasn't going to put him back out there. Jessica Camarado, MLB.com. Hey, Davey, you talked early on about Harrison's energy. What did you think about him tonight, both hitting and then the base stealing and then the dancing and the dugout too? <laughs> yeah, he was – man, I, like I said, I, you know, I love his energy. Um, he brings a lot with him, you know, he's playing multiple positions. Uh, he swung the bat well to the full, full base force. Um, but I was really impressed with his dancing. Pretty good dancing. Uh, last week you told your guys that you want them to loosen up and start having fun. And then you see Juan Soto dancing on the dugout. So how do you think they're doing with that? Yeah, hey, you know what? I, I missed that one. Um, I, they told me about it. But, you know, that's, that's, what the, that's who these guys are. I mean, they, they, you know, they're a bunch of guys that, that pull for each other. Um, they love each other. They want everybody to do well. And uh, when things are going, you know, they're, they're, they're a bunch that wants to have fun, that they need to have fun. That's part of the game. So, um, you know, with respect to everything else, you know, I want these guys to have fun. As you know, we try to keep it in a dugout um, amongst ourselves. But, you know, these, you know, it's part of the game. Todd Davis, NBC Sports Washington. Davey, uh, before the game, there was a video on the video board that was a bunch of family stuff um, saying, saying stuff to different players and, of course, you. And it looked like, uh, in particular, someone named Everly was very excited to say something to you. Uh, so would – a, I'm assuming you saw that video, and B, what, what did you think of it? Yeah, um, very emotional um, for everybody. It was actually a surprise. No one knew that that was coming. Um, I was shocked. I saw my daughters and my, my sons all, all up there, uh, my grandbabies, um, and I miss them. I miss them tremendously. It was good to see them up there, and I think that uplifted the boys a lot. Uh, I really did. And, and so what are you doing to stay in communication with those people? Obviously, it's hard enough during a regular season because everyone's so busy. But since you're physically not going to see them, it seems at this point, what are you doing to kind of maintain those things? Yeah, we, you know, I FaceTime them uh, periodically. I talk to them. My granddaughter um, talks really, really well, as you can see. Um, I have another one. My son had a more and she's kind of shy, but um, she talks really well, too. I, it's funny that I uh, – I actually FaceTimed him today before the game. I talked to him for a while. Uh, I text, text my kids probably every day, see how they're doing, see how they're holding up. Um, 
but that we're good. I mean, we're really close. So uh, to see him on the board like that was was awesome. I mean, it really was. I mean, you know, um, breaks my heart that I can't see him, but they get it. They understand. You know, they they, they just want me to be safe. And we'll finish up with Mark Zuckerman, MassInSports.com. Hey, um, do you expect Juan to be in the lineup tomorrow? And did you think at all about pinch hitting him with the bases loaded? Uh, I think it was the fifth inning tonight. Yeah, we thought about it. You know, we we, we had the lead. Um, you know, I, I was trying really hard to stay away from him. We got, you know, we got him loose. We wanted him to get loose just so he's he was ready. Um, but I really wanted to stay away from him. We had the lead. You know, uh, I even thought about it. You know, again later on in the game. If, you know, if bases were loaded, where he can go up there and really do some damage for us. Um, but, you know, we won without him, and hopefully uh, I'll talk to him tonight, and um, hopefully he'll be ready to go tomorrow.